Hi all, welcome to QA Masters. Today we are going to give a short demo on test complete. How test complete is going to recognize objects during runtime? Why this is so important? Assume that there are several applications running in our PC, say some browsers, some Windows applications, some uh, notepads, Excel, etc. And assume that test complete has to place username, password and click on button to validate a login functionality in a browser. How would it would be if instead of username, password entered in username text box and username entered in password text box. Then the whole scenario will go to wrong. To avoid these kind of scenarios, we should understand how test complete is going to recognize the objects during runtime advantage is we can build powerful robust automated scripts these will not fail during execution of scripts during subsequent releases let's see we need to understand test complete mechanism or algorithm in identifying runtime objects test complete has an object model that is used to identify or work with all standard objects like text boxes, buttons, etc. By using this object model and specific properties of an object, test complete identifies the objects during runtime. Why this is so important? Just now we discussed. Object identification is crucial in test automation as every script works with objects benefit automation engineers can prepare effective test cases or effective automated scripts and organization will get robust automation scripts with reduced or minimized efforts let's take a scenario open a calculator click on button 2 button star and button 5 for multiplication we'll understand how test complete is recognizing object 2 in during runtime while playing back. Assume that in this scenario there are some Internet Explorers, Notepads and two calculators are already open and test complete recorded the script on second calculator and it has to play back again it on second calculator. When it clicks on a button the following following script is recorded. The above one is uh, VB scripting recording and the below one is C sharp kind of a script recording. I have taken a, a small portion of it for the demonstration purpose. This is what test complete expected object recognition. Test complete uses parent child object recognition mechanism. So process calc is a child of operating system and window calculator is a child of process calc and button 5 is a child of window calculator so the expected parent first parent is sys our operating system actual it finds our operating system and the expected process is calculator for this process there is a property called process name that is used by calculator to identify the process. It travels through all the available process within operating system. First it will look at Internet Explorer and the process name is iExplore. iExplore doesn't match with calc. So it will not go to the iExplore or Internet Explorer process. Next there is a calculator process and the process name actual is calc and the expected is also calc both of them are matched so test complete understands that this is the process it has to work with then what it will do is once it finds that this is the expected process then it will capture the process id or process thread and store it in to traverse into the chains of that process for the other processes like notepad and all it will not go as it got what is expected 
within this there are two calculators we already said they are open and the expected calculator window properties are wind caption and index first calculator wind caption is calculator and the expected is calculator it matched but the second one property index expected index is 2 but the index is 1 here so it assumes that this is not the expected window then it will go to the next calculator here caption matched and also index 2 expected index is 2 and it matches then it understands that it is the expected window once test complete understands that this is the expected window then it captures the handle to the window for every windows there will be a handle once test complete captures that handle then only it can get into the child objects of that window now test complete got the handle to this window then it goes to the ne next level that is the window button and index 5 it has two properties so there are several objects within a calculator window say one is static here wind class is static and the expected is button so it doesn't match so it will go to the next object here wind class is button and expected is button so it match but index doesn't match same case here also index is 2 expected index is 5 now it reached to the expected button here wind class is button and uh, index is also 5 these are matched with the expected properties now test complete understands that this is what is the expected button once it finds the next event it has to do is clicking on that button for this button there are some other properties like x y width height what test complete does is by using all those additional properties test complete identifies the position of button 5 within calculator by using x y coordinates and height width then it will click on the center so during runtime even though there are internet explorers two calculators and several buttons test complete is going to click on the exact button if test complete doesn't find this then it will throw an error now understand where we are going to use this information what will happen is uh, test complete object model recommends only few properties to identify an object or window or a process in an application but sometimes these properties are not sufficient to identify an object at that time if we understand this mechanism we can go and add unique properties to the test complete so that it will identify that object uniquely and sometimes there will be a change in the properties from one application release to another application release if we understand this mechanism properly then we can go and update the appropriate object easily so this helps in creating a perfect object recognition mechanism for our automated test cases and it will help us in reducing the rework and the major problem of maintenances thank you very much for more details contact us at training at the rate qa-masters.com or visit www.qa-masters.com website here is an assignment there is an expected window that is a browser window and in that there is a text node so now try to see what uh, try to analyze your understanding by using the below actual ones I wanted to take you through my 
website qa-masters.com and we are offering several automation courses and on tests complete the following topics we are going to cover on the latest version we are not only providing the basic level of concepts we are going to the advanced levels we are getting into the details of the tool so that you will understand test complete uh, effectively it also covers automation frameworks we are also covering automation best practices automation approach the real time automation methodology how you are going to use test complete to build automated test cases thank you very much once again for more details visit our website and contact us thank you